Spanish learners, and welcome to another amusing episode of Spanish Academy TV, where we elevate your Spanish skills and improve your fluency. Today, we'll be discussing a fascinating question that has probably come to mind once or twice. Does the Dominican Republic speak Spanish? The short answer is yes. However, the long answer is truly fascinating and worth exploring. Join me in exploring all about this interesting history, vivid culture, and diverse languages of La República Dominicana. Before we begin our exciting journey, don't forget, like this video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Follow these quick, simple steps to stay up to date with the best Spanish content available on the web, like subscribe bell button. It's that easy! Now, let's get started with our lesson on Dominican Republic. If it's your first time learning all about this fascinating country, let me tell you, you're in for a treat. Let's start our lesson with a few basic facts. The Dominican Republic is the second largest country in the Caribbean. It covers 18,700 square miles. Christopher Columbus and his crew first landed in the Dominican Republic in 1492 and baptized it as La Hispaniola. The country was part of the Spanish Empire until the late 18th century. The country was briefly occupied by the French, Haiti, and Spain during the 19th century, followed by a brief period of US occupation in the early 1900s. The capital is Santo Domingo and is home to three million Dominicans. That's a third of the whole population, which is 10 million people. The official language is Spanish, but Dominicans actually speak several languages. This combination of dialects and Spanish is known as Dominican Spanish, and it isn't only spoken within the country. It reaches the Dominican diaspora in the US, mostly located in New York City, New Jersey, Boston, Philadelphia, and Miami. Dominican Spanish derived from Caribbean Spanish, which is a combination of Canarian and Andalusian dialects from the south end of Spain. The indigenous Arawak, native to the Dominican Republic, also played their part by adding words from their own language. And of course, we can't forget the African languages brought to the island by settlers. Dominican Spanish is unique and full of particularities, regional influences, and indigenous roots. Let's take a look at some vocabulary words. What regular Spanish knows as la habitación is el aposento. El autobús is called la guagua. And el árbol is known as la mata. Bet you haven't heard any of those before. When the Spanish arrived in Dominican Republic, the official language in the island was Taino. Anything found by the Spaniards that wasn't in Europe had a Taino name, which led to the Spanish language borrowing from Taino and ultimately creating new words. For example, the word urraca in Taino led to the word huracan in Spanish. Dominican Taino was so influential, many English words come from it as well. For example, hurricane manatee, and barbecue. How about adding some Taino vocabulary to your language repertoire? La nana. La batata. El maco. La cacata. Chin chin. La jicotea. Another fascinating thing about Dominican Spanish is how the pronunciation stands out from any other Spanish-speaking country. It truly is unique and outstanding. In some parts of the Dominican, people don't enunciate the last R sound 
in infinitive verbs like estar, dormir, and comer. People also tend to speak at an impressive velocity. Dominicans also emit the S sound nearly all of the time. They also have an ongoing ceseo, where S and Z are pronounced as S. What's the difference between ceseo and ceseo? Check it out here. All about Spanish ceseo. Another thing that stands out in Dominican Spanish is that the D is silent in words that end in ado or ada, ido or ida, and edo or eda, making them sound completely different. For example, the word casado is pronounced casao, dedo is pronounced deo, partido is pronounced Partido. Are you feeling ready to take on Dominican Spanish yet? How about starting with a free class with certified native Spanish speaking teachers from Guatemala? You want to know the best part? The class is totally free and requires no payments. Go to www.spanish.academy slash free dash class or click here. We love spoiling you here at Homeschool Spanish Academy, so you don't even have to pay a cent. Don't miss out on the opportunity of improving your Spanish abilities for free. Now, back to our initial question. Does Dominican Republic speak Spanish? Yes, it's spoken by 90% of the population, but like in most Latin American countries, there's two other language varieties that are alive and thriving. Let's talk a little about Haitian Creole. Over 160,000 Dominicans speak Haitian Creole as a secondary language. The majority of them are descendants or immigrants from neighboring Haiti. The language is a mixture of French, Spanish, and West African language. Although it's frequently spoken, the country doesn't recognize Haitian Creole as an official language. Haitian Creole isn't the only language variation in the Dominican Republic. Let's turn our attention to Samana English. This variety of English is spoken by about 12,000 inhabitants of the northeastern part of the country. Its speakers are mainly descendants from black immigrants from the US known as Samana Americans. Their language is similar to English Creole. Unfortunately, government policies have forced it to decline and it's at risk of extinction. Now, let's turn our focus to the other languages considered mandatory in the Dominican Republic schools. Both French and English are considered essential. Due to the heavy influx of tourists and expats, English is a must, especially if you're in contact with the thriving tourism industry. The most common native languages spoken among the population of Dominican Republic are 85% Dominican Spanish, 2% Haitian Creole, 1% Samana English, 0.5% Chinese, 0.1% Japanese, 0.1% Italian, and 11% speak other languages. República Dominicana has an undeniable cultural richness, influences, and a strong variety of unique words. It's worth mentioning rich expressions like vaina. Vaina means thing or stuff, and can either be neutral or negative, never positive. Bacano. Bacano comes from Colombia, but is often used in Dominican Republic. When something is bacano, it means it's really good and likable. Colmado. Colmado is a useful word if you're looking for a quick snack and are in need of buying something ASAP. It means a small convenience store. Concho. If you're looking for a quick local form of transportation, you best grab a concho. Yala. Yala is used in informal settings with friends as a way to say, okay, dime a ver. Translates literally to, tell me so I can see. 
It's the perfect expression to replace the meaning of what's up? Que lo que? The favorite greeting in Dominican Republic is que lo que? It's used as a short for que es lo que? Que lo que? No mucho. Todo normal. All of these slang words are a part of the collection of particularities and extraordinary world of Caribbean Spanish. The fusion of cultures and rich influences are undeniable and hard to miss. There you have it, friends. Dominican Republic does speak Spanish, but in their own very authentic, wacky, and special way. Do you want to keep improving your Spanish knowledge and conversation? How about including more extra out-of-this-world vocabulary in your repertoire? Download our free ebook, Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories for Beginners. It's a magazine-style ebook with pictures and English to Spanish parallel text. It's a great option for both kids and adults and has six weird, wacky, and super entertaining stories for those who want to improve their Spanish fluency and understanding through reading. Thank you for joining me for another great episode of Spanish Academy TV. I hope after this lesson on Dominican Spanish, you feel prepared to talk to and understand Dominicans without any difficulties. See you soon! I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all Spanish learning updates. Hasta pronto! Oh.